Uh, Thomas Davis wants to know who's your favorite celeb that you've produced. Um, I always say Leslie Nielsen just because he was so great. Um, wow, there, there's there's a bunch. I, I think Leslie Nielsen was terrific. Snoop Dogg off the chart, just beautiful. Um, I mean, most of the time they've all been great. You, you only have a few kind of real shitty ones and. Uh, Reith Franklin wasn't great. Um, Burt Reynolds cussed me out in front of a room full of people, but at the end of the night came up and we shook hands and hugged and he apologized. Um, so there's, you know, there, there's an awful lot uh, through the years, but it, it's some guys can be assholes and some guys can't. You know, I, I recall doing a convention and walking the convention floor and nobody really knew who I was. And Henry Winkler, I literally bump into this old man. And it's Henry Winkler, the Fonz. Eh? And he looks at my uh, badge and, you know, it's a talent badge and all this stuff. And he says, oh, hey, how you doing? Hello, my name is Henry Winkler. So what do you do? And I told him what I did. He goes, oh, hey. He goes, I go, hey. And uh, we talked for a little bit, and he came over to the booth later on and said hello again. Was just the the sweetest God, man. And since then, I've always looked for um, – you read stories about celebrity interaction. I've never seen a bad story about an interaction with Henry Winkler. No, they don't exist. Because he just – I don't think that there could be. He just every every story reads true to what I experienced with him. And I went to another convention that he was at and he came over just to say hello and, and like found us. Came wow. over, hey, how's it going? Ah, got a good line. Nice. He he just loved to do that, just walk around and say hi to people. And I thought that was pretty neat. Um God, who else was I gonna say? Um Yeah, I, mean, I know I don't we talk, I know we don't talk about current stuff, but I think you've had fun with Logan Paul. Logan Paul's great. Yeah, absolutely wonderful. But uh, you know, from the from the old timers, it it just was. You got to spend time with a little bit more time with them and everything. Uh, Mark Cuban was great. Mark Cuban was a lot of fun to work with. Trump was fun to work with. Um. So it's just different. I'm looking around the looking around the room here, see if I see anybody that strikes a memory. Well, Burt Reynolds over there, but um, yeah, it just it just really depends. Really depends. Yeah, I know you personally had a good time with uh, Vanna White. I think Vanna White was great. Yes. Yeah, she yeah. was magnificent to work with. Uh, class act all the way. Pam Anderson. Mm -hmm. class act all the way um, jenna jameson was probably fun jenna jameson class act all the way um you know being in vanna's home um was she just like gave us the run of the place she was amazing and pam anderson and, and, and to think about it though Pam Anderson and Vanna White, when I had the opportunity to work with them, was at their peak of popularity. Yeah, absolutely. Like they were the hottest that they had ever been and, and ever worse, you know, even after that. Um, and just couldn't couldn't have been nicer. The the nicest two people in every interaction since, because I would always run into them at nappy conventions and things like that. They would always remember. And just tremendous people. 